Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here with a video looking at what I think is one of the first unique equipment unlocks inside the game. I officially have Eowyn's unique Respect 10 item, the Rohan's Refuge. And just a second, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this item, whether I think you should get it, and uh, what we did, the process we did on stream to unlock this and uh, work on starting to strengthen and refine it. So stay tuned for all that coming up. <laughs> All right, so if you didn't know, you unlock the unique equipment or rather the tasks to start unlocking the unique equipment at Respect 10. Once you unlock Respect 10, you'll unlock this uh, menu here and I've already claimed mine. Uh, again, that video is live on stream. If you want to go to Twitch and watch the VOD back, you can do that. Uh, but there are three quests you have to do for AON. They weren't too bad, but got those taken care of and then you need 60 Mithril. Now Mithril can be bought for 250 gems a piece five times a day. Uh, so it takes a, a little while to build that up to, for the, the first unlock. And we weren't sure what the strengthening and refinement process were going to look like. I was kind of hoping for the best. And to be completely honest, I was very disappointed, uh, as were pretty much everybody in my Twitch chat. Uh, it just seemed like the general consensus was it is not going to be worth going for these unique items. It's not really going to be worth it to push commanders to R10. I was someone who thought when season one was ending i even was was in the thought train early on that maybe you had to get that first respect 10 in the first season so i pushed a couple of characters there hoping this would be a really good thing for season two um, and it has turned out to to i think not be worth it so to show you first to strengthen the items it's going to require gold items of the same type for so in this uh, instance as an accessory if it was a weapon it would be a weapon uh, and it starts off at two so re it requires two for the first strength and then it goes to three um, we don't and probably won't know for a while how it, it stacks if it goes two three four five or if it's going to be like regular gold equipment and go you know two three um, six eight ten or whatever it is for other things like as you see with uh, I don't have anything here but again for other things that get to be higher in the stars you see them start to cost more per strength and so that wasn't a huge surprise but it is pretty steep for something that already has pretty steep requirements and the refinement this is what really got me and what is really uh, again if you if you're like zoning in and out listen to this uh, I just I do not think these items are going to be worth your money they're not that like great for your characters that it's going to be worth the investment because on top of the 60 mithril required to unlock it you're going to need 60 mithril per refinement level now it's not confirmed if it's going to cost 60 per level it could scale up from there but doing the very simple math math assuming that you've got 20 gold accessories laying around which you would need to spend thousands to do um if you if you start getting the mithril you're going to need 300 pieces of mithril. If it is 60 per level, it could be more, so keep that in mind, uh, which is going to run you, if you buy them every day they're available, it's going to run you 75,000 gems or just north of $300. Um, and that's after, you know, if you have an R10 character, that's after you probably already put some money or at least really hyper-focused in this area to get them to R10. That's after you already did the first 60 mithril to unlock them. It's going to then require more to get their ability up. And again, for, for someone like Eowyn, the ability is fine. It's a good ability. Uh, it's a cool shield, but uh, it just maxes out at 30% damage uh, reduction um, from ranged units for melee units in the first four rounds. So not a bad thing. I wouldn't mind having this maxed out, but it is 100% I do not think going to be worth uh, actually farming this out. So uh, again, I don't want to focus too much on the negative. I am enjoying the game. But I was pretty disappointed by this because it seems like, um, it, for me as a fan of the Lord of the Rings and as someone who's kind of been probably stepping in that whale territory from time to time, and if you're free to play, I probably look like a mega whale. But uh, you know, getting some characters that are, that are iconic and that you really like, and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to unlock this iconic shield that Witch King the, that uh, Aowen uses in the battle with the Witch King at Pelennor Fields. This is going to be awesome. Yada yada. You're so excited about it to then have to wait for the Mithril to then really have it not be any better than gold unique equipment until it's strengthened and refined um, and the cost being very steep for that. So again, that's kind of my initial thoughts on it. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Uh, after this portion of the video, I'm going to play a chest opening we did because I didn't have enough gold accessories to even strengthen it. And uh, we were, thanks to some uh, generosity on stream, we were able to open quite a few more packs. Uh, and again, you'll get an idea of how difficult it is to pull specific gold items like accessories anyway. So getting 20 plus of these things to actually strengthen it all the way would be ridiculous too. You're talking thousands and thousands of dollars. 
Uh, but at the end of this segment, I'm going to play that that chest opening for you. So uh, hopefully you enjoy that, and I'd love to hear your comments down below. Uh, I do think if they had come out in the in the beginning and said that this is like a 10 season long goal, people wouldn't be upset, or I wouldn't be upset. Uh, but originally it said unlocks the unique task in season two to obtain this equipment so to me when it when you have season two in there you think all right i gotta get this to r to r10 i got it in season two i want to start using this it's iconic um but it's it if you weren't going to spend thousands and thousands of dollars it's going to be a long long term goal so again i'll let you be the judge of that how you want to handle that but for me um i would i would caution players i do not think it's going to be worth taking any commanders over r5 if over the course of 10 seasons, you, you get him there and you start working towards that Mithril and you get the Mithril from tips, maybe you do the battle pass and you get Mithril and you're you're able to get that over the course of a long time, I think that's fine. Uh, but they're not game breaking enough to really push for because it is a team game at the end of the day. So again, uh, I've got that the, the footage from stream here where we go through and unlock this as well as do our chest opening. So hopefully you enjoy that and let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on the unique equipment, but I'll see you all in a future video. It refreshed. Here it is. I need three. Let's do it. One, two, three. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you're watching live right now, maybe you're catching the replay on Twitch, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the channel. All that good stuff. We have A1 at Respect 10. We have every single thing unlocked. This is a first look for myself, as well as many, I believe, at what this is going to look like. I'm going to click OK. I don't know what's going to happen at all. And we're going to see. I'm hoping for a cool cinematic. I'm hoping for some awesome stuff. Let's do it. Okay, touch the smoke. Truly, you've recovered what was lost. I am grateful for it, for it shall help, for it shall help in the struggles to come. Okay, so we had a little bit of shaking around, a little smoke. It's all right. That's it. Okay. Um, I would have liked a little bit more, but that's fine. Now gonna unequip that here it is right here I'm gonna equip it we're gonna see what happens at the Rohan's refuge I am scared to see how you strengthen this with gold items okay I wondered if that was gonna be the case it looks like it's going to take gold items which means hmm, that's that kind of stinks but I, I kind of wondered as far as refinement goes, how do you refine? What does it take? Is it also going to be gold stuff? Uh, I hate I hate to get rid of some of my gold stuff, but I think I need to. I just think I need to. Let's do it. 250 gem pack opening to hopefully get some accessories, to hopefully upgrade said items, and then um, save it, and then let us know if it carries over. Uh, yeah, Vizio, we had a few confirm it earlier today. Um, EQ being one who confirmed it, that theirs uh, carried over, and uh, there was a couple others that said it too. So let's go. Getting started. Every five, we should get at least one purple, so that's good. Okay. Got the Malorn Leaf. We got the Secret Intel. Uh, getting Theod into respect him would be awesome. It's just going to be a long time for him before we get his stuff unlocked, but we can at least get a look at what that is. Next one. Something shiny. All right. Little item for Galadriel there. That's solid. We need a gold accessory. Uh, a couple of them would be nice. Is it just me or do accessories seem in high demand? <laughs> oh, man. My voice doesn't want to do this today. They just seem in high demand, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a cruddy thing. Another hysteria. Here we go. Thranduil. Oh, a couple things. A Mirkwood bow and a Warhammer. We're kind of doing good on on, on um, weapons. So, uh, Ponte, if we did unlock it, it was a little bit uh, not exciting. But then, thanks to some... Oh, that's cool. Don't particularly need this. We just got a Swan Helmet. 
with courage. Solid. But we're doing a little pack opening here. Courtesy of Vizio. I'm trying to get some accessories. And this game is... Uh, there's some more secret intel. It's making us... Come on. Here we go. All right. Hiking in the Noldor's Banner for Gilgalad. He is. He's very epic. Uh, the Arnor Cask. Uh, with the warding. I think that's solid. And some torn pages. Come on, game. If we don't get an accessory here... I'm going to be irritated. Do one by one. <laughs> Scout's mail solid. Here it is. All right. Another Noldor banner. It just seems like accessories are in high demand. To stay on a worn out smoking pipe. So I, I feel like we're going to get lucky to even get one of them. There should be a tier 4 commander in 40 Visio. It one shots everything and comes with max flawless gear. I agree. I 100% agree. Here we go. Alright. We're getting a lot of those, which is fine. Um, come on. Give us some stuff. Here we go. We're getting a lot of stuff for Gilgalad. Slow and steady here. So I'm trying to hear chat. Another horseman's helm. That's good. Uh, I think we actually might be able to refine our other one now. So that's good. Here's something. Okay. The dawn. Another gold weapon. That's, that's solid. Might. Speed for men. And against enemy melee units. Solid. Solid gold. What is it? 2.3% for golds. Here we go. Oh. That's for Aragorn. I kind of wish there was a special chest right now, because then we could be getting really focused on one or two commanders. Another bone mask. That's good. Give us a really bad accessory, so I don't feel bad getting rid of it. Elven Dirk. Here we go. Dealing coin for Dane Ironfoot. Game's being stingy tonight. Game is being stingy tonight. Another Malorn leaf. Will you post the part of refining her gear? Yeah, if we get it figured out, you betcha. Another Athield and Coin. No double chest pulls yet. Come on. Scale mail. Would love a tier 3 full pull. That'd be just a fantastic way to celebrate together. I'm telling you what, if we get Aragorn, King of Men, he's going to be R5 right away. I guarantee it. Here it is. Ooh, that looks that looks shiny. All right. We got our first accessory. A Silver Harp of Rivendell. What does it do? Is it good? Do I even want to get rid of it? Might, focus, defense. Uh, Yeah. It's not thematic. We get rid of it. Excellent. Excellent job. All right. Continuing on. Take a, we'll take a few more of the Silver Harps game. <coughs> Come on now. Here we go. Gilgalad. Got the hunter skin. More secret intel for Theoden. More secret intel. <laughs> yeah, wait, I forgot. Streamer luck doesn't exist. That's right. It does not. I tell you what. It's sure feeling like it again. A field and coin. And some old vineyards. It sure does feel like it doesn't exist sometimes. Here we go. This is why I am actually baffled when people have like really strengthened gold gear because it's a lot. The rates are not good. You'd think dropping a 500 bomb would be like, oh yeah, we're going to have a lot of really good gold. Mm. Got the carver. Got more secret intel. Come on. More secret intel. Here we go. Airborne map fragment. Oh, we got a double. I got three of these. I've got three of these freaking chess pieces. I don't need them. Now I can strengthen the other one that I have, but still. Stink. I mean, yeah, it's it's got to be nuts. 
Make her R10. Who am I, who am I making R10? Don't need that for Gandalf the White. Old Winyards. Another Horseman's Helm. I'll take it. I feel like, I don't know, are we, you think we're halfway? Let's check. <sighs> we're almost done. <laughs> There's only 20 left. My goodness. Dang. Ran into that guild, went into Gilglad with that chest piece. Maxed out from gems yesterday. It wiped my Witch King. Holy cow. Oh, R20, yeah. We're going to get one accessory. Opening 250 of these boys. Last one here, I think. I think we're halfway. Oh, no, we're done. It goes so fast. Here we go. Come on, game. Come on. All right. There you have it. To the 200 before someone tells me to. Um, there you have it. 250 chests open. All to do this. You know what? I'm not going to... I, I, I have to do something. We're going to do this one because this is actually available to pull. I don't think... I think this one's more rare. I like it. <laughs> uh, we're just going to do it. Here we go. Sorry. Strengthened. We are strengthening the Rohan's Refuge. One time. There you go. Painful. Now we can see what the refinement cost is. Did I really do the gym? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Uh, a few moments later. Well, there you have it. We did a 100,000 gem chest opening to try and get more accessories to strengthen the shield to see how it's refined. In that process, I accidentally got rid of one of my better accessories. So that was a fail on its own. Uh, but as you can see from looking at this stuff, uh, it is very, very, very pricey. And uh, unless you are a crazy whale and just have a ton of disposable income and it's not a problem at all, I would almost across the board suggest that this is not an item worth going for. It's not worth rushing commanders to R10, get people to R5 so you have all their skills available. And then other than that, if over the course of 20 seasons you get it, great, enjoy it, it's a cool thing. Um, but uh, it is by no means worth the cost to get it as well as just the cost of getting enough accessories or whatever items. As you saw, we opened 250 chests and I pulled one accessory. So obviously the pull rates are gonna vary. Um, there's RNG involved in that, but uh, you can start to get an idea of how expensive it would be to get these things maxed out and really usable in the game. So again, that's my feedback. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, and uh, again, I want to try and stay positive about this. This is a team game and uh, maybe this is a relief for people that haven't been whaling out. You know, if the whales want to chase this stuff, great. It's not going to change how entire factions and entire seasons play out. But maybe as a free to play player or light spender, you've been feeling the pressure of not getting this stuff. And now you can see that uh, it's it's not really going to be worth it. So maybe that takes some pressure off people. Just focus on playing the game, focus on making some cool friends, and that's all you can really do at the end of the day. So again, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>